Hello, my beautiful vibe drivers. Welcome to your weekend mystic affirmations as we begin the Friday energy of June the 10th through Sunday, June the 12th. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs, which means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With that, we'll go right into the energy. Remember, relentless optimism, moving in the energy of creation, using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and being in the energy of allowing ourselves to focus our intention on our best possible lives now, drawing in positive energy and positive change. Letting go of what no longer serves you, the seven of swords. This is the energy of releasing things that no longer fit or that you no longer use. Remember, purging and getting rid of excess things in your life, including stuff, old shoes, old purses, old clothes, old things that you do not use. If you haven't used it in two or three years, I promise you, <laughs> you'll be going through it and going, oh, I forgot I had this. Oh, I didn't, I forgot I had this. This is, that's, you know, if you're not using it and you don't intend to keep it, if it has no sentimental value to you, uh, allow yourself to move forward with it and give it to someone who can use it and does need it and will cherish it. Because I can tell you, I've been in a situation where I was receiving the donations and I can promise you, I was so grateful and thankful. So give the joy to someone else. Then we have the strength card, which is the Leo major arcana. It also means moving down your path with divine protection of Archangel Ariel. Ariel is known as the lion of God. So keeping you focused, and moving forward. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine spirit, the knight of pentacles, very fast moving energy, meaning the, the financial abundance has already been set in motion or the, the amount of money has been allotted and it is now heading your way as this knight moves towards you with it. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Wow. That's three cards right there. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in love and light, for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So one, two, and three. Scooch that over some. There we have it. And our underlier is the king of wands. This is all about action. This king of wands is ready to move forward very quickly. Uh, he is entrepreneurial energy and business energy. If you're looking for a job, this can be the new, the new company you work for, the new boss you have. It is the fire sign energy. So Aries, Sagittarius, and brain went blank. Leo, there we go. <laughs> Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Oh, goodness. So we have worthiness as our top card here, understanding that you don't have to earn the ability to have good things happen to you. It is an inherent birthright. It's just that we forget sometimes and, and other people can sway our energy and make us believe that we're not worthy so that they can suppress us, right? So let go of all of that old stuff and start with a new thought. I am worthy because I am here. When you're in the presence of this realm, you have the abilities that everyone else has, 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 has plural on top of plural. <laughs> I don't know where that word came from, but there you go. Uh, this happens because I'm in the drift and, uh, you know, divine throws words in you. So you just go with it. I feel worthy and have very special talents that will help me to achieve my dreams. In encouraging your, your gifts and encouraging yourself to feel special begets worthiness, right? Knowing that you have it within you at all times. We have affluence, which we had yesterday, I believe. 
Affluence is a beautiful card, not to mention a beautiful dapple horse there. I love the horse. I choose to be debt-free and live an affluent and healthy life. Being in a place of free-flowing energy and being in a place of feeling abundant and, and worthy, this is, this is the way this works. You don't have to borrow or struggle or any of that when you're in the place of a divine alignment. It all just comes in a flow. And that's where we're trying to get ourselves into the flow and allowing ourselves to move in that energy. And we have our angel answers oracle cards here. No need to worry. All is taken care of. What a beautiful energy. A beautiful angelic energy. No need to worry. <laughs> it's, there's no reason to worry. You either can do something about it, so do it. And if you can't, let the universe do it. Because there's nothing the universe can't take care of. Belief. First of all, spectacular colors. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents. Now, remember where that came from? Gifts and talents. You are worthy because you have special gifts and talents and our strong connection to source. The underlier is compassion. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and to be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through your heart and into the world. So when you're giving compassion, you're helping source energy to flow into this realm. Meditate with your heart chakra open. And our bottom card here is affirmation. Be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. As we acknowledge the divine order of life, the universe responds with ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through the heart of creation and creation responds accordingly. Let's see what else we have. Opportunity. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect and divine order. Everything that you have ever experienced has helped you in some way. The past is behind us. The path ahead is clear and move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desire. <laughs> That's some great affirmations going on there. Let's see what the cards say. The five of swords. This is where we feel battle weary little battle fatigue going on and we're questioning whether we should continue on because we're just really tired of all the resistance this is where you just be still there's no battle to be had you've already completed the battle when you're in this mode you just have to gather yourself back together so sit down be still let the universe move because usually this means these next cards are going to be talking about the cavalry coming in and and changing this energy for you Yep, the dump truck load of blessings, the infamous seven of cups coming in, meaning that everything's coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry. So you're going to be inundated with good things all at once. And that's the only caveat to this card is that it all happens simultaneously. So you're going to be quick, fast, moving, doing, doing, doing. And there's the strength card, the one we began with. It is here to let us know we are not alone. And the universe is helping to keep us moving forward in the right direction. So with that, I send you all beautiful blessings for the weekend. Love, healing, abundance, joy, happiness, peace, and prosperity to you all. I will see you again on Monday. Namaste, my friends.